In our last video, we went over how to download Splashtop. In this video, we're going to go over using Splashtop and the Adobe Cloud if you are in technical theater. We're going to follow the order that you want to take when you come in to use the lab. So, we're going to start by looking for your Splashtop business application. Please place it somewhere where it's easily accessible. Mine's on the desktop, so please locate yours and then open it. Type in your email and your password. And then you can click sign in. And when that loads up, if you have other classrooms available, just close those up and scroll down until you see TAE 106. Click on any station that does not have a green ring around it. Click on it once and then click on the connect icon. Depending on your internet service or how busy the lab is, depends on how quickly this will let up. This is one of the two login screens that you'll see. If you see this screen, your password is just student, no caps. But if you see this screen, you must type in student with a capital S dot capital T A E 106 and your password is still student with no caps. And this is the virtual lab for commercial music and technical theater. Where my mouse is circling, there are three buttons that we're going to go over. The first is full screen and close full screen, file transfer, and disconnect. From here, we're going to click on the full screen option so you can see the lab in full. Our next step is going to be clicking on file transfer. We're going to locate your file first. So on the left side, you should see your computer, your hard drive, etc. And you want to look for the location of where your file is saved. Mine is on the desktop, so I'm going to select that and scroll down until I find the file or folder I am looking for. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to bring in two files. So, once that's selected, I'm going to go over to the remote station and find the desktop. You only want to transfer your files onto the desktop and nowhere else. Click the right facing purple arrow and allow your files to transfer. They should show up on the desktop. Once those are done transferring, you can clearly see them on the desktop and then you can close out of that window. If you are working on any of the music programs, they should be located on your dock. But if you're using anything else for technical theater, you're going to want to follow these steps. Click on the Adobe Cloud icon located on the dock, the rainbow icon, and this window should pop up. If you haven't already created your Adobe account, please pause this video and in the description below there will be a link to the how to create an Adobe account video. So with that open, type in your email and click on the blue continue button. Do not click on continue with Google, Facebook, or Apple. You do not want to have your accounts saved onto a communal computer. Once you click on any of those options, any other student who comes into the lab can access your information. Type in your password and click on continue. You might get the update window. This usually happens if it's your first time signing into your Adobe account on a new computer. Let it load up and it'll vanish and pop back up. Just be patient, it sometimes does take a long while. If you get an error, contact one of your techs immediately and they can solve the problem for you. When it pops back up, click on OK to close out of that pop-up. From there, you can see all the Adobe applications. They should say up to date. 
but if you see one that says update, please do not click on that. From there, you can click on the open button on the application you need to use. When you are done using the Adobe Creative Cloud, click on the blue circle icon and click on sign out. You always want to make sure you sign out of the Creative Cloud before signing out of the lab. To close out of this window, go to the red circle on the left hand side and click on that once. It'll close out of the window you have open. You want to double check that you've quit out of any active programs before continuing. From here, we're going to go over how to save your files and transfer them back over. So what you want to do is right click and create new folder. While your text box is still highlighted, you'll want to put your first name, underscore, last name, underscore, the class you are taking. Hit enter or return on your keyboard to continue. Once you have that all set, we're going to select the two files you brought in or any of the project files you created while you were working in the lab. Drag them into your folder and open back up the file transfer option. From there, click on the folder you created and make sure it's being sent to the location you want it to be sent to. Confirm that it's being sent and then transfer your file over. You can always double check to see if your folder is available on your desktop. For Chromebook users, please follow the following steps. Anyone else can skip to the timecode available. Using your Chafee email, you can go to the Google Drive and save your files as a backup in there. A more detailed video of how to do this will be located in the description below. We recommend you saving it both on the desktop and in your Google Drive for in case of anything. Communal computers mean anyone can go in there and tamper with your files. Once you've successfully transferred your files or saved them onto your Google Drive, please trash your file. And again, if you're using a Chromebook, you can leave yours on the desktop. Your last step is to log out of the computer. So going up to the Apple icon, click on Log Out of Student TAE106, and then click on Log Out. From there, you can go up to the Disconnect icon and just click on it. You'll load back this screen. And from there, you can sign out of your Splashtop account. If you have any questions about using Splashtop or the Adobe Cloud, please reach out to one of your techs or the instructor.